Yo, what's good homies? Today we'll do another portfolio review and we'll see what we found on the interwebs. I'm gonna give some ratings to these portfolios and hopefully you will learn a few tips here and there and you'll learn how to position yourself as a proper professional so you can also make six figures and work remotely, okay? Because I feel like a bunch of people are doing so much work without any purpose and they are not getting anywhere. So I have my coffee and I have a few websites opened up and let's get ready. I found this website. Uh, it was part of a portfolio. I don't remember how I came across it, but this is actually pretty cool. I've never seen a portfolio so far that made me say, wow. And this is one of the first. And this is just a presentation website. I don't think you will get that far if you can build websites like this. I mean, it definitely looks sick. I haven't seen the source code or anything, but it's not that complicated, okay? It's not gonna impress that many engineers, okay? Because this is just a presentational website, okay? But still, compared with everything I'm gonna show you today, this is like amazing. This is, this is 10 out of 10. But if you wanna become a software developer, you need to develop software and create applications, not websites, okay? This is something that my students are making in their first you know, part of the program in the first month or two. And this is something that you should know, but this is not gonna make you a software engineer, okay? This is more tailored towards becoming a developer that works at an agency and whatnot, okay? Cool, that's the first one. And uh, we started with something good, but now we're gonna see uh, bad portfolios and we'll um, see what you don't have to do or what you shouldn't do and I'm gonna give them some tips so here it is another portfolio again the way I find these websites is by being on social media I find them and I save them okay and I have a bunch of bookmarks with a bunch of portfolios and I just want to go through them okay uh, cool so the design is not that great. Of course, you are not a designer if you want to get into development, but that's not an excuse to have a portfolio that looks so bad. And this is going to be the theme with all these other websites. As you can see here, this is this is this is um, bad. Okay, and I'm going to talk to you and explain to you why this is bad and why this is important to be good looking. So now imagine, imagine who is going to see this portfolio for the first time, okay? A recruiter or a hiring manager, okay? And why is this information important? Well, because these people are not technical, okay? These people are not technical, right? And them, as well as you, you are used to deal with beautiful websites, okay? Because this is the standard nowadays, okay? This is very important to understand. And when you make a design or a website that should put your best foot forward, that looks so outdated, you are not making yourself a favor, no matter how creative you think you are, no matter how bad you might be a design, right? Because it's not your fault that you don't know design. Okay, let's go to home. It's not your fault that you don't know how to design stuff. Not at all. But it's your problem, okay? Because these people will uh, judge you based on how your, re your portfolio looks like. Like, have you ever seen this in the recent years? I think I used to have something like this on MySpace, right? And that's what recruiters think about. I'm not even looking at their code. I don't even care about their code. I just look at the presentation because this is super important, the way you present yourself. And, you know, I kind of chilled down from last time when I was reviewing portfolios and whatnot. Well, as you can see, like people have no idea about how to design a portfolio. Even this guy here, I like the header. I think that's the best part from whatever I see here. But you cannot even read this. This is, first of all, too much text and it's unreadable. Nobody's gonna read all this stuff. Okay, now we are going from there. This is easier to read, you see? But this is impossible. Like nobody's gonna spend time to read this stuff. Now, if we look at the apps, let's click on this. I wanted to here, not here, 
see how this app actually looks like and works. This is now loading, bye. That's what a recruiter will do. Oh, that's broken. Let's look at this one. This was faster, okay. Exercises, search exercises, crunches. Okay, cool. All right, cool. But again, it's super simple. Like you can do this, any experienced developer, okay? Any experienced developer is gonna look at this and it's gonna be like, yeah, I can do this in 30 minutes, right? Even though for you, the viewer of this video or uh, Jack or Violetta or Garrett, for you, it might be like a big deal. Like, Jesus, I've made this, join a room, create a room. Okay, for you, this might be like a big deal, right? You might put your heart and soul into this. You might be working like 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day. But the standard is here and your work is here. All right now, I wish I could tell you what to do besides joining my program and working with me where I'm going to show you exactly how to do the right types of applications that will increase your chances. And in my opinion, if you have a portfolio, you're not even going to get a job because you are a junior, right? Only juniors have portfolios. If you have a portfolio or a junior, nobody wants to hire juniors. Do you understand that train of thought? Now, if you, if you really want to have a portfolio, right? If we start with a presentation, okay? Because that's the most important part. I'm going to give you some tips because like, this is like horrendous, okay? No matter like, how positive we want to be in this industry this is not sexy like nobody likes this i don't know if these guys have jobs but i can tell you that they will have a hard time looking for a job like this is what my guys do before they even learn how to touch react you know what i mean like you cannot have this in your portfolio this screams noob and don't hire me okay at least in my opinion, my standards are very high for people, okay? And because of that, my guys have success. But you also have to have high standards. Now look, if you want to be successful, all right? And if you want to put your best foot forward, what I'm going to recommend you to do is to buy a team, okay? A Tailwind team, for example. This is very popular right now. And the reason why I'm saying this is because at least if you have a cool team, on your website then you will at least stand out you will you would at least get a chance and now there will be three types of people who will be watching this video and will interpret this advice in three different ways the first one is i want to do everything myself and their their portfolios would look like this okay because they want to do everything themselves then the second one would be like oh i don't want to spend the money this is an investment, right? If you spend 100 bucks and you get one of these teams, this is gonna be an investment for you. If you spend 100 bucks and that's gonna get you two more interviews per week, probably you've never had, had an interview in the past six months. And if you spend 100 bucks, you'll be getting two interviews per week. Is that worth it? Yes. But some people, I don't know, they, they equate spending money with bad and they think everything uh, that costs money is bad and whatnot. And those are the, the brokers people anyway. And the third type of person will be like, yeah, that makes sense. Why would I spend time learning how to design, uh, wasting my time applying with a bad looking portfolio? Why would I do that? I'm smart. I'm going to spend 100 bucks. This is literally like one takeaway. And I'm going to have better chances than most people. I'm not affiliated with... Uh, Lexington, but I know the guy and he makes some solid um, templates. He literally didn't ask me to do this, but I really like his stuff. And I think if you guys will have a look, this is even free. Look how much better this looks like. Let's have a look live them. But he has stuff to talk about, you see. 
while you're here you'll have yoda like this is not even relevant with what you'll be doing at work i'm not sure Probably they went to a boot camp or something. I'm not exactly sure what they do. Um, but yeah, I don't know what these guys are teaching them in the boot camp. You know, like I feel like I feel bad for for most people. You know, because they have such high hopes and they have a lot of energy, but they literally have the worst guidance, or they have no idea where to spend that energy because if you look at the sun the sun is bright and it has a bunch of you know sun rays right but it's not gonna kill an ant but if you have a what's the name a magnifying glass and you point into the into the right, right direction then you can kill the ants okay it's as simple as that i'm trying to make uh, an analogy so you can understand it but this is pretty much like what I do with my guys, for example. They have a lot of energy, they have a lot of passion, and I just direct them in the right place so they can use their energy in an efficient way. If you have no idea about like what you have to do, what apps you need to build, how long you should be learning a specific skill before you go to the next one, then you'll never be good enough. Let me just show you an example. For example, this is a student that just joined like last week. He was doing some stuff by himself and he was decent but he wasn't really that good right and i showed him what he has to do i showed him the technique this is a bit broken here but as you can see that this is like <laughs> a solid website made by a beginner and now he's learning javascript and whatnot but this i know this is the apple website probably you are familiar with it let me just zoom in a little bit you are familiar with it, yeah? It looks almost the same. But how do you compare this as a project with this? Or if we go here, like there is a night and day difference. And this night and day difference is gonna make the difference between, between you being hired as a developer and not being hired as a developer. The standards are high, and the money is also high there is a lot of money and a lot of potential if you have the right skills but if you waste your time making ugly websites simple applications you'll not stand out and that's the problem with most people they have no idea what to do it's not like they are stupid but they have no idea what to do and if you want to learn what you have to do how to do it if you want to match those standards go on this website Okay, click on this button. By the way, I made this website using this team. Okay, because I'm not a designer and I'm, how can I say, I'm not uh, proud to make a website by myself just to say I've made it. I bought the fucking team, 100 bucks. And it looks sick. Obviously I modified it and made it my own, right? You can see like you can read everything, you can see the testimonials, you can watch the videos with people that were exactly in your situation, that were struggling with the same issues as you. And you can clearly see everything, right? You can read this, like everything is clear, not like here, you see? It's pretty much the same thing. But here you can read it, here you can't, right? My work, those would be like my testimonials, right? So you go to this website and you click on this button okay and then you fill in the form and you book a time with me if i accept your uh, request then we might work together but if you don't want to struggle making this stuff or like spending tens of thousands of dollars you know on a boot camp or being self-taught and whatnot like there's no point to struggle so much anyway that link is in the description of this video click it if you want to skyrocket your results, if you want to make more money, if you want to work remotely, click it, apply, and good luck.